Hey, my name is Teresa, and I'm here um, on set the, of the second annual GPS uh, Valentine's Day shoot. And I am with the lovely Serena Barish. Hey. Um, so you'll be doing the shoot today. Um, it's already 2022. What are your big plans for the year? Well, I'm hoping to compete this year. Did a late show last year, so now kind of peaking off season right now, trying to build a little bit for that pro level. You know how crazy those girls can get. Yep. So we definitely need to put on a good bit of size until we get back on stage. So hoping to get on stage by late this year. If not, maybe early next year. Okay. What show did you do last year? We did the Atlantic Coast Pro in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How was that? The show itself was amazing. I mean, okay. they put on such a good show down there. Um, I want to say Tim Gardner's the promoter. He is my favorite. He is like awesome. the best. That was the first show I've ever done, actually in the South, really at all, because I'm okay. usually always up north. I'm from Pennsylvania originally, live in West Virginia now, um, so a lot of Pittsburgh shows, and I think I've done you know Pennsylvania shows and that. But um, and of course, just being in Florida in November was yeah. awesome because I'm used to you know snow and gross. Mm -hmm. So getting to go to the beach and yeah, right before Thanksgiving was was wonderful. Was so do you think you'll try to shoot for another one of his shows, or are you looking? Or something different do you know which one or do you I want to share that maybe his show again okay just because it was like the perfect time so it'll give me all of this year to to get everything ready absolutely um, probably not anything before that i know there's that one um i think the legion festival in october i want to say maybe in vegas yes so that might be a possibility but probably i'm thinking probably not nothing before the atlantic coast if not maybe even early 2023 okay awesome so i'm just kind of Fingers crossed. Hope things go well. And you are definitely not, you know, you're, you've been around the whole competing bodybuilding world for quite some time because you also work for... For Olympia Tans. Awesome. Yeah. Little plug there. Um, <laughs> yep. Competing almost 10 years, spring, going on seven years. Okay, very cool. Um, and then what else? Um, so... Biggest thing to talk about or not biggest thing, but one of the things that get a lot of um, female competitors in the off season is the whole body dysmorphia thing. And even in season, you know, we never think we're lean enough, um, you know, that type of thing. What's what's your thoughts on it? I mean, it's definitely a very real thing. Yes. I've known so many friends that have started competing, maybe did one show and then completely fell off, you know, was also improper coaching, got their hormones all messed up, all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I've had that happen to myself a couple years ago. I want to say it was like 2015. Um, my coach didn't give me any direction after my show. I gained 30 pounds in two weeks. My huh. clients at the time look, told me it looked like I was wearing a fat suit. Um, so I've definitely been through, you know, the whole opposite side of the spectrum where it's the absolute worst. Uh, but even off season, I mean, it can be a challenge. Like this shoot today, I'm very, very excited to shoot, but I don't often do off season shoots, so it is going to be a little bit different. I totally um, yeah, understand shout out that. To GPS photography and video. Yes. I'm um, doing my first, I've never done a, like, what, Bordeaux, Bordeaux I can't say that word. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Thank you. Never say <laughs> I've never done a shoot like that before, so I'm also very curious about that. I usually do um, just different styles, more outside or. Um, more flexing kind of stuff. So to have it be on the like softer side and, and the off season side of it, I'm, I'm excited to, to try something new. And I think that's so important, especially for new competitors out there um, and, and even seasoned ones, you know, to, to know that it's okay and it's healthy and, and that's, you know, how you progress. Oh yeah. So you can't be stage lean all year round. No. As much as we want to. As, as amazing as that would be, um, it's it's just not reasonable. And I think, you know, like I said, getting that out to, you know, new faces, people that are looking to compete that have only done one show, knowing, knowing, you know, what to ask their coaches and, and things like that is, is so important, mm -hmm. um, especially after shows and, and things. So yeah, I... I um, completely agree, but at least at the same time, you know, um, being okay with it and and realizing it's acceptable mm -hmm. for sure. Um, what else do you want to tell us? Um, anything, you know, that you're just want, want the world to know about <laughs> about yourself or anything like that? 
I guess one big thing that I always find is that a lot of people say, you know, it's always too late for them or, you know, they're this age or whatever. Um, a big thing that I always love to say is but doing the spray tanning, I've sprayed Masters Nationals for years. The oldest person that I've sprayed is 84 years old. And Holy they smokes. actually have an 80 plus bodybuilding <laughs> class where you can turn pro. So, I, you know, I get these uh, ladies all the time. They're like, oh, that's great, but I could never do it. And I just want to encourage anyone. I mean, I didn't even start lifting until I was 21. Um, I just turned 30 last year. And there's there, there's never a too late point to start. There's Absolutely. always somewhere that you can go from this. And there's never, you know, too late to get fit or put on muscle or, I mean, just get in shape at all. And just be healthy is the big thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, to just encourage everyone to, to do that. If they want to push their body to that limit, that everybody's capable of it. I love that. That is that is great advice. So I appreciate you coming in today. Um, I know you're going to have a blast shooting. Um, you're working with, with one of the best. So um, have, have a blast with that. And uh, we look forward to seeing your progress throughout the year and wish you all the best with your shows. Thank you. Yes, thanks.